Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm Sir Cooper now, and, it's the and since the last episode, I have caught more frogs with Queena. I now have a grand total of 91 frogs. Now, one thing I absolutely will say you must be careful of is um, make sure that you are absolutely prepared for one of the hardest fights in the game if you're going to go over 99 frogs. If you catch 99 frogs, you're going to need to be ready. Okay, so just be be wary of that. Okay, Mist Ocean, look around the small islands located in the north eastern shore of the Mist Continent. Be patient and dig, dig, dig. Yeah, this is another one of them annoying chocographs that are a pain in the ass to find, so let's go and attempt to find it. It's quite, uh, well, it's sort of farish away. Do, 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 do. So we're going to be rounding up the chocographs in this episode. <coughs> in this episode, I hope, anyway. <laughs> he says. Alright, start digging. I'm not entirely sure, again, where this one is. I know it's around here-ish, northeast of the Mist Continent. It's kind of well hidden as well. I mean, you can see islands, so perhaps it's... Yeah, it's around them islands there, them two islands. I mean, it's not as bad as the ocean one, but there you go. Should be around here-ish. Oh, we're getting there, good. Okay, lost it. Come on. Come on, I should find this by now. It's not this close to the land. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'll probably cut if I don't find this in a second to when I do find it. Oh, there we go. That usually works. Whenever I say that, I usually find it. Strange mist. Strange smoke appeared. Getting sleepy. Which is good. To the Chocobo Dream World. It's been quite a while since we've been here, actually. Although it probably hasn't. It's been a while since I've recorded, so I guess it might not have been too long. Come on, Fat Chocobo! Your little weird palace. Seriously, how does he fly? If he can, I guess he can't. I think in like Chocobo Fables, he's called Chubby or something, which always made me laugh. Wanderer, we await your return. Choco, you now have the ability to fly the boundless sky. You can take off and land in any forest. You now have the all the abilities necessary to reach your homeland. Woohoo! Now about that homeland thing, we won't actually be going to the Chocobo homeland thing for quite some time. And well, we will. Well, it'll be next episode that we go there. So we won't be doing it in this one. But now we are fully evolved. Which is just brilliant. Now we just got to quickly hurry to shore, which is again going to be over there. So I'll just cut and meet you guys at the shore. Okay, here we are at the shore now. We've got to now find the Chocobo's aerial garden. And now it moves. You only need to find it once. Once you found it once, it will appear on your map. So yeah, we need to find this aerial garden that they're on about. Honestly, I can't really like tell you where to go because you just press X in the forest to fly. By the way. The, and then circle to land. The best place I can tell you is just, just Google it. Um, Chocobo Aerial Garden locations. And it will tell you where they are more or less. Now one of them is on these cliff faces. You can tell what it is. It will be like a dark circle. You might have seen one already while playing the game. Oh look. What a coincidence. We found it. This is it. And you just need to make sure you're directly under it. Fly up a little bit. And use a dead pepper. And we're running out of those. So I'm going to need to dig some. <laughs> he looks hilarious doing that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, here we are. The Chocobo's Aerial G Air Garden. Don't want to call it Aerial, it's Air Garden. Whee! Up we go. And 
coincidentally Minis found us here. Right now, this place is kinda cool. I guess I'll talk to Minnie first. I really like this place. Choco can fly that me? Wow, that's great, Kubo. Say, did you notice, Kubo? This island is floating on clouds. The location of the island might change when you go back down to check its location on the map by pressing select. Ground is pretty firm. What a strange place, Cooper. You're a strange one, Minnie. Okay, we can now play talk about on coal. But first things first, I just want to show you around this place. It's got two islands, that's about it really. You can dig up another free chocolate grass here, which is the main thing. Um, now up here is a very important thing. Um, what's this? It looks like an Eidolon cave examine. Wait, Kupo! I feel strange presence inside Kupo. Is it bad? I've never felt anything like it, Kupo. It's not of this world, but not like a ghost either. It feels otherworldly, Kupo. Leave alone. I think that's why it's Kupo. Now, that is where Osma is, the game's super boss, hardest boss in the game. So yeah, I'm going to leave that to the very, very end. So yeah, we'll be waiting a while to see that, guys. Honestly, though, he is very hard. I mean, even if you're level 99, he can still wipe you in one round. It's just ridiculous. It's just luck based, which is really annoying. Okay, I'll just show you guys just one game of chocolate hot and cold in this new garden we got here, and then I'll dig up the rest of the chocolate rafts off screen. So let's hope we get lucky. You can't dig, you can't find stuff in the clouds. It's always on these two islands. There we go. Chocolate raft already. Awesome news. Let's just jump down. The thing is, this garden is kind of shitty, to be honest. I mean, sure, there's not a lot of places you can dig, which is kind of a good thing, because that means you're always going to find your items. But then there's also the problem of you have to travel, and that takes forever. It's generally best to absolutely make absolutely sure that there's nothing left on your island before you jump off it, because you'll just waste so much time. But I just really like this garden, it's really cool. And I love that I've got headphones on, I've never noticed this before, but I can suddenly hear like wind blowing, which is kind of cool. Ugh. Come on. More chuck graphs, please. I know there's only three of them in total up here, and then I've found every chuck graph in existence, but I still want to find another one. I'm not going to manage it. No, no chance. Oh, dang it. Ah. Oh. oh well. Okay guys, I'm going to cut until I found all the chuck graphs here, so I'll see you guys in a little while. Okie dokie, we've got all the chuck graphs, I believe. Just just check. Oh, yeah. Choco said he already dug up all the chuck graphs here. I think you're ready to go to the unmapped Chocobo's Paradise. Choco wants to go too, Koopa. Try using the dead pepper, that's what I think. Yep, and that's a little hint. There is a little island on the world map that you cannot... Um see on it and it's hidden and we'll be going there in the next episode but for now we'll be unearthing all these new chocograss we got we've got four chocograss three we dug up here and one we dug up in the um chocobo's lagoon that we can access before because we needed the sky power oh god pardon me um right now first one we're going to do i believe is outer island one so let's just open chocra menu and select that uh, outer island one koopa isn't a very big island how scary i hope you like heights now the reason why these ones can only be got with uh, Sky Chocobo is because if they can't be landed on by an airship because there's no grass. And you can't land on with a chocolate uh, you can't land on it with Chocobo because you didn't have there's no shore and for some reason they can't do that. It's weird, I know. But this is the island right here. It's one of my favourite looking islands. It looks like a little fish. <laughs> now, where is it? It should be around here somewhere. Come on. Game. Oh, for Christ's sake, I really hate it when it does this. I know where it is. Let me dig you up. This has never happened before. Never. <laughs> you should get this one instantly. There we go. I have to be very precise with that, which is very annoying. 21 Amethyst, 16 Garnets, 1 Genji Armor, and 1 Ragnarok. Right, now I'm just going to dismount just to show you guys that. And I'm actually going to check my card inventory because I don't want to lose any more cards to a full inventory. Um, how many have I got? What does it say? Oh, the bottom stop. Okay, that's fine. Now, Ragnarok. Well, let's go with the Genji Armor first. Genji Armor, absolutely amazing. Steiner, I'm going to give that to him right away. I said X, not circle. Right. Um, 
the Ragnarok. It's the strongest weapon in the game if you are not get if if you discount the Excalibur 2. Remember the Excalibur 2 you can only get in 12 hours. So apart from that, this is the strongest weapon for Steiner. Not in the game, but for Steiner. The Excalibur 2 is the strongest weapon in the game. But anyway, that teaches Shock and Thunder Slash. You might remember them being Beatrix's skills. Well, yeah, Steiner with Shock is hacks. But we won't be equipping him with that for a while because he's still got a master of the rest of his stuff. Right, on to the next draft graph, which will be Outer Island 2, which should be very nearby. I think there's a nearby uh, desert nearby, Cooper. I don't think you can get near it from the ocean. That's the one we've had for quite a while, I believe. And it's actually not very far away, which is why I guess they're called the same sort of thing. Well, they're called Outer Island because they are at the Outer Continent. And it should be this one right here, I believe. Let's just land our chopper boat. Perhaps it isn't. Could have sworn it. Yeah, it is. Could have sworn it was. I was like, what? This should be it. Alright, these are like the few chopper crafts I actually remember. There we go. Another chuck chest graph thingy. Uh, 11 sapphires, one circlet, nice. One poom ice piece, even. That is amazing. You need lots of poom ice pieces. And one Hildegard free card. Nice, nice, nice. So open chuck graph menu, next one. Um, let's do... Hmm, it's kind of a hard choice. Well, the fairy island's closer, let's do it. There's a mountain on the middle of the island. Try going to places you couldn't reach before, Koopo. Okay. God, I can't believe this Chocograph quest is nearly over. Just two more Chocographs. There is one more treasure we can't get yet, which is... Um, we can't get until the fourth disc. But apart from that, after we've got these two Chocographs, we have actually unearthed every single treasure possible. Which is just weird. I just can't believe how quickly this game's gone. It's just flown by. I mean, I've been doing it for like ages now, but it's still a pretty short time. Okay, so this is it. This is an island. It's also going to be very important later on in the game. Let's try and find this. This one I'm not too good with because I can't remember exactly what side of the island it's on. I think it may have been back on the other side where we landed. Oh no, it's here. Here's somewhere anyway. Oh. Come on, where is it? Okay, I'll cut until when I find this because of as usual, I cannot find it. Found it, woohoo! I think that was inside of the mountain, I can't really tell. Yeah, I think it is. 33 potions, 15 anointments, 1 holy mitre, and 1 dark matter card. Nice. The holy mitre is actually one of the best things for, um... Just want to dismount here. It's one of the best things for Garnet, I believe. Really good hat. Let me just have a look. Holy hat, yeah. It's a really nice piece. Um... What else did we get from that? I can't really remember. Dark Matter card, 33 potions and some amethysts, I think. Oh well, there's only one more chopper graph left now, which is the um, Forgotten Island. What a strange shape for an island, Koopo. You've come this far, you can figure it out, Koopo. Haha, <laughs> it's the final chopper graph. And yeah, you should be able to figure it out. It's not that hard, this one. It's this one here, maybe? It's one of these islands around here somewhere. My camera's all fucked up. Yep, this is it. Another big island with nothing on. Which means I'm going to struggle to find the chocolate graph. <laughs> it's probably up here. On the tail. Okay, maybe it's not. Where is it? Okay, sort of found it. Must be around here somewhere. Got it, woohoo, the final chocograph. 
one ribbon, awesome, one re ring, awesome, 13 amethyst, and an arc card. Arcs of summon, look, we haven't, well, the arc, we already know that, it was that boss. And that's it, really, we're done. We've got all 24 chocographs, so guys, in the next episode, we'll be heading and trying to find that chocobo paradise that many of us talking about. But apart from that, I guess we've found all of the stuff now. I mean, all these cards, we've got the arc cards, and what else we got? We got the Alexander card earlier, dark matter should be somewhere, I'm not sure where, should be around here. We definitely got a dark matter card, there's an Iron Man. Hmm, where is it? Where is it? There it is, dark matter card. Done pretty well. The only thing, of course, we're missing is the Odin card, but I'm not too worried about that. I'll be able to win that back. The stock's getting a bit high, let me discard some of these junky ones. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. In the next episode, we will be heading to the Chocobo's Paradise. I'll see you guys then.